Hey YouTube, this is Chris again. Um, I just got done installing my NUC oil filter bypass system. I did another video of it, unboxing it, and kind of explaining why I decided to put one on here and kind of what it does. Um, and I promised that I would put a video out and once had it installed. So I haven't put the oil filters on yet. It kind of gets in the way, so you can't really see things very well. So um, the only thing that's not on is the oil filter. So let me show you a few things that I had to do real quick. Over here are the two plugs I had to remove from the block. This one is your oil supply line. It's just a square head, so you can just put it a crescent wrench or, rat or just a regular wrench on it. This one is the plug I talked about in my first video. That square head is 5 16 so it's not quarter inch, it's not 3 8 so it's in between the two. So I talked about buying the square stock, and basically all I did was just cut it, and it actually fits perfectly into a 10 millimeter socket. And then I put that in the plug and pulled it right out. No problems at all. Over here, I got my two oil filters. I already got them filled full of oil. I'm getting ready to put them on here in just a minute. And I'll take you underneath the truck and I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Sorry about the noise. It might be, it's really windy today in Missouri. It's a shitty place to live, I think. Anyhow, so here it is installed. Try not to get any oil on the camera, I guess. Um, so yeah, here's two bolts that it uses. The transmission inspection covers right here. And this is the bolts. You just take those two out. Um, the instructions say that they're 10 millimeter and they're not. They're 3 8 Don't use a 10 millimeter. It does not fit and you will strip these out. Uh, and it's aluminum. So remember when you're tightening these down, you don't tighten too tight because you could screw the threads up. So pretty solid. I already test fitted the filter to make sure that it fit right. So here's your oil return line. You put that bushing in and then you put the other fitting in. And then this goes to the front port on the adapter. And then your rear line, which might be hard for me to show, is up here. And that's that square head. And then that wraps around here and then comes into the back side. And that's pretty much it. Uh, looks pretty good. I don't have anything else to add as far as that goes. Uh, once I get the filters on, I'll start it up and see if I have any leaks or anything. One thing I wanted to mention about the 7.3 that a lot of people don't know about is up here on the, this is the oil reservoir for the high pressure pump. There's a little plug right there. You take that out and there's a quart of oil inside here. And what you can do is, is you can, to get that oil out of the injection system, you can suck it out with the oil extractor or a vacuum pump or some, you know, something like that. Pull it out, put a quart back, put the plug back in, start the truck up, let it run for five minutes or so. Pull the plug, do that like two or three times, and that'll help get some of that old nasty oil out of there. I did it when I first bought this truck about a month and a half ago, and it came out all nasty and black. And I just did it uh, two times just now before I drained the oil. And of course it came out nasty and black. So hopefully this oil bypass helps that. And um, I get a whole lot more miles out of these, or, you know, these injectors and this engine in general. I also like to give uh, props to Shaper's Oil. I don't know if you guys know much about them. They're from St. Louis. Um, been around a long time and I work for a fire department and that's all they use in all their um, um, ambulances, fire trucks, police cars, city vehicles with great, great success and I've been very impressed with uh, the performance of their oil. So uh, I might do another video once I get it all together and ran and then I'll check the oil and kind of see how it looks after a few thousand miles. So you guys have a great day. See you later.